An Adam Sandler movie is coming out centered around a bat mitzvah. It's called You're So Not Invited to My Bat Mitzvah, and it is spotlighting for a worldwide audience this coming-of-age ritual party and the traditions surrounding it. Courtney Tesler is here from Greenville Jewish Federation to, to teach us more. Welcome. Glad you're here. Thank you so much for having me. A child's bat mitzvah or bar mitzvah, depending on girl or boy, marks a time when they are accountable for their, their own actions. Talk to us a little bit about what this milestone means. Yes, yeah, so it's translated as boy uh, bot or um bought for girl, I'm sorry, um, but it's translated as son or daughter of the commandment. So mm -hmm. it's actually got to do with their understanding of Jewish laws and Jewish traditions, Jewish values and the practice around that. So there's a lot that goes into it. And, and yeah, a lot of work goes into it. You interviewed some young people about their bat mitzvahs, and we'll share a piece of those interviews in just a moment. But talk about the preparation involved and the work goes into reaching that point, sometimes a year. Sure, yes. So there are lots of different uh, branches of Judaism, and I am not a rabbi, but we have three amazing rabbis here within the Greenville and upstate area. And these individuals each worked with their respective rabbis for roughly a year, learning to read Hebrew, be able to uh, read and recite the prayers and scriptures okay. so that they can then perform those uh, at a ceremony, share their experience and their understanding of the material with their family and congregations. And you see some pictures of that here um, but it's a, a opportunity for them to demonstrate and state that they understand these values mm -hmm. and how much they want to uh, fulfill those in their own life as adults and I heard in your interviews just how you know how rewarding it is to reach that level they're proud of themselves for achieving this um, there's also possibly a mitzvah project kind of a community service effort right yep so in the Drew Jewish tradition of Sadaka which is charitable giving um, these individuals will find something that they have an interest or a connection to mm -hmm. and create a mitzvah project around right. it to do good yep and and it, and it makes an impact, and, and they're proud of that work, too. The young people in your community, they must be really excited. Uh, how excited are they for this Adam Sandler movie? They're very excited to see representation, yeah. to see others going through what they've been through or are preparing for. That's so awesome. And everybody, it's exciting. And now, you know, the whole community has, has more of an understanding. They say, this really is a cool party. Um, this Adam Sandler movie, we see in the trailers for the film that Bat Mitzvah can be a pretty epic kind of party. Here's what some of your young people had to say about theirs. Uh, mostly a dancing party and it's purple theme because that's my favorite color and there is going to be a lot of like uh, food and ice cream. Um, my party was really fun. It was a neon slash glow in the dark theme and it was really fun. I invited all my friends from school and from the summer camp that I go to and my temple we all partied the night away. Wow. Um, my party was Broadway themed um, ever since my 10th birthday trip to New York. Um, I have loved Broadway, so I had to make that my theme. So there's really just a big celebration. However, the celebrant wants to wants to put that out there. They get exactly, creative. Exactly, yes. Yep. The Greenville Jewish Federation, um, I know in your organization, you see all these young people and you're really proud of them at this time. You coordinate all kinds of fundraising and cultural events and educational programming. Um, what do you have coming up? I know that your fourth annual Summerfest is this Sunday. Tell us about that. So our mission is to promote Jewish values in our community for our Jewish community and our neighbors. Mm -hmm. um, the Greenville Jewish Film Festival, which is not part of Greenville Jewish uh, Federation, but one of our other organizations in the upstate has Summerfest on Sunday, and that event is showing the blues, uh, the Jews in the blues uh, okay. of film. So we're very, very cool. excited to support them in that. That's four to seven o'clock at South Carolina Children's Theater on Sunday. And then on September 10th, um, what's the apple picking event? So in preparation for high holidays in Rosh Hashanah, our uh, PJ Library program families and families from the Asheville community are all gathering together at an orchard to do apple picking and rides and uh, do some activities yeah. and, and share stories. Well, and I know you even have events later in the year in December where the <laughs> whole do. community comes. You want to share those traditions, get people involved and, and active. So we'll get to more of that. Courtney, thank you so much for being here. We're putting the events on screen now. Summerfest this Sunday, 4 to 7 at the South Carolina Children's Theater, Apple Picking September 10th, and uh, several more events there. The info will be Greenville Federation, Greenville Jewish Federation's website, and we're going to have that on accesscarolina.com.